Hello, this is Janet from Servant for His Glory 44. I come in the name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. And I just wanted to share some news articles that spoke of some weather events that took place around the same time that the Lord spoke judgment over the Denver airport. Somebody had actually mentioned to me this evening that these things took place and I went and looked it up. So I just wanted to share these things as I believe that these are confirmations that judgment is upon this world and upon this nation and that it's very important to seek the Lord Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, while he may be found and to get under his mighty hand of protection while you still can. And um, I just want to encourage you that if you have never accepted Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, as your Lord and Savior, you can reach out to me personally at servantforhisglory44 at gmail.com. And I just want to make it clear that this is what I believe, that there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And this is spoken of in the Holy Bible. And so I want to really encourage you, if you have clicked on this video and you've never accepted him or you're straddling the fence, you're not in right standing with him, that now is the day of salvation. Now is the time to get right with him. Now is the time to press in and seek him and cleave to him because there are many things that are going to take place upon within this earth. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the the articles now. This first one says Red Rocks make safety tweaks after a hailstorm that injured dozens. A hailstorm that injured dozens at Red Rocks Amphitheater and sent seven to the hospital. I thought it was interesting that it says seven. An event some are calling the scariest night of their lives isn't being taken seriously enough by the city, some people say. What happened? 80 to 90 people were treated on scene after being pelted by ice up to the size of tennis balls at a Lewis Tomlinson concert on Wednesday night, according to West Metro Fire Rescue, which responded to the incident. With many concert goers unable to escape and seek shelter, people were left bloodied and bruised with injuries spanning broken bones, welts, and cuts. What they're saying in a statement Thursday morning. The outdoor concert venue, which is run by Denver Arts and Venues, offered sincere best wishes to those affected and assured fans in a tongue-in-cheek manner. It's having a little talk with Mother Nature about the weather business at Red Rocks. That didn't go over well. Red Rocks received immediate backlash for what many perceived as a flippant response. Here's another article that speaks about a tornado, storm damage. So I just want to encourage you to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, now. Thank you for listening. Take care. Bye.